welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. And we're going to look at some inexpensive pencils today. Uh, I came across these pencils at a local discount store, one of those places that sells all kinds of overruns and closeouts and things like that. And this was in uh, the office supply aisle of the store. And I had never seen this brand before, Anchor Art. Uh, but it was a dozen pencils. Um, these were under a dollar, I want to say 89 cents. So I put them in the cart and thought, okay, we'll see. Uh, what these are like and um, if uh, if I don't like them for 89 cents I can I can donate them uh, to the library or to the school but um, but anyways I thought well let's take a look at these so these are uh, look at the package here anchor art uh, at the top uh, ages 3 plus 12 number 2 pencils uh, smooth lead pre-sharpened 12 number two pencils uh, conforms to AST M uh, D 4236 uh, and uh, HB number two non-toxic so you know this meets uh, standards of, um, of safety um, on the side just Anchor Art, number two pencils, same on the other side. On the back, um, I like it's got the pencils here printed on the paper. Uh, Anchor Art, I, uh, products I, I'm unfamiliar with, but look for other Anchor Art items. Uh, looks like they have markers and crayons and colored pencils and things like this. Down here at the bottom, uh, let's see, kind of hard to, it's, it's small, very small, uh, hard to see, but you've got your UPC code, um, Anchor Play Products out of Miami Beach, Florida. Uh, it says designed in USA, and then here in tiny print, uh, it's got your Facebook, Instagram, um, pages for Anchor Art and uh, then it says made uh, in India so these are um, pencils that are made in uh, somewhere in India and I'm wondering if these might be uh, as they do from Hindustan Pencil Company who makes uh, a lot of store brand and other branded pencils uh, like the um, Walmart um, pen and gear stuff. So I thought, well, maybe this is one of theirs as well. Uh, these come pre-sharpened, and here's how we are out of the box. And it is very much a standard golden HB Number two, let's see if we can focus here. Anchor Art uh, logo embossed there. And that's it. Nothing more to it than that. Very straightforward pencil. <clears throat> and um, it's got a sharpen on it. We'll see how that does. It's kind of a, um, if you look at them all coming out of here, it's kind of got a flat point sharpen to them. They're not sharp, sharp, uh, as the picture might imply here. They're kind of blunt at the top. So anyways, <clears throat> we'll get some paper and we'll try these Anchor Art number two pencils. Okay, we have our Anchor Art number two pencil here. We'll uh, see how it does.
fairly smooth pencil um, and I the more I'm writing with it the more it is reminiscent to me of um, uh, the pen and gear uh, kind of feel of a pencil And it looks like it is a wooden pencil. Not sure, might just be base wood here. Um, but it is a fairly, fairly smooth pencil. Not as dark as some of the uh, Epsara uh, or Nataraj uh, Bold or Extra Dark. Not quite that dark. Um, but it's definitely a number two HB. Um, and, uh, like I said, a fairly smooth writing pencil. And so far, point retention is not bad. Let's see how we do here. A um, little bit of a smudge drag. And uh, it does come, of course, with an eraser here. Yeah, sort of a chrome, chromish ferrule. And let's see how the eraser does. Well, let me come in so we can see how these erasers are working. Look at that. Awful. Not good at all on this eraser. Very poor job. Um, not unusual for uh, an attached eraser. Uh, so let's see how it erases, say, with a, a Mars. Well, a little better, but honestly, I expected the Mars to erase this more completely than it did, because it usually does. Uh, there's still a bit of shadowing there. Let's try a pink pearl. Hmm. Okay. Um, try a gummy racer. Hmm. What else can we try? How about a natural rubber eraser? rubber here. Wow. Vinyl. Well, here's what I can tell you. This pencil is not a great erasing pencil.
you really there's there's still to varying degrees the obviously the attached eraser here was the worst performer but across the line here you really normally most pencils will erase better than that so um, in erasing this gets a C uh, yeah really I mean it's you can erase it yes but you know even a C C minus not the, the, really almost any eraser is going to leave the part of this on the on the page um, let's let's sharpen let's put a a little better point on this pencil and kind of get an idea how it sharpens here okay hmm you know I'm looking at this yeah I guess that's wood there um, yeah it is for a minute, I thought that the barrel might be made of some other material, but all right, let's let's try doing some more writing. Okay. Okay, well, I will say uh, it is an okay writing pencil, uh, comfortable, um, soft, very soft corners comfortable to hold fairly smooth writer uh, a good a good line on the page um, just uh, seems to sharpen nicely let me and 
and um, but I will say that uh, it's not a good erasing pencil. Uh, and so, you know, that may or may not be as important as the writing part of it. Uh, but, you know, the beauty of a pencil is it allows you to erase um, and because we all make mistakes. And so um, that's, that's the downside of this pencil. But again, 89 cents for a dozen of these, it's hard to complain too much, I guess, but, uh, you know, uh, for a, a, a pencil out of uh, India, and uh, it um, does the job um, of, for writing, certainly. Uh, it is a, a, a decent writing pencil, so. Thank you for spending some time and taking a closer look at this Anchor Art number two uh, pencil and um, appreciate you spending some time with Always Analog.